Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this introductory video on some of the principles behind the ECG lab that we are undertaking um, uh, next week. So what we want to look at here are some of the principles behind uh, electrocardiography. So an ECG is based on the principle um, described in Eindhoven's triangle. So what we do is we place uh, electrodes around the body and the base electrode on at the top of the left arm, the top of the right arm, and just above the left leg. And what that do is it, it creates a triangle around the heart and allows us to look at the heart from uh, three different uh, vantages. So from the right arm to the left arm, uh, we can see lead one there on top. Okay, from the right arm to the left leg, we see lead two, which is the most common lead um, through which uh, uh, we tend to look uh, at, at the heart and then from the left arm to the left leg uh, is lead three and um, within this lab we'll be focusing the way we have set up as you'll see in the other video uh, we'll be focusing on the, the an actual lead one view between the right arm and the left arm the reason lead two is most common is because we see the orientation of the heart here is at a slight angle and most of the directionality of the electrical activity moves down from the atrium from the SA node down this direction into the ventricles okay down each of the bundle branches and then out into the Purkunji fibers of uh, of the of the large ventricles so the electrical activity in general is represented by this blue arrow and that is moving very much in line with this lead and that's why you see tend to see the biggest um, spike in the QRS uh, is greater than it is in lead one, for example, because that's the viewpoint or that's the vantage point we're looking um, at the flow of this electrical activity and um, between these electrodes. Okay, so we're setting up the participant and um, we'll be shown in, in the next video. But once we do that, what we're looking at here in terms of our PQRS and T waves is effectively we're looking at the electrical activity as it spreads through the heart. So as we know, um, the signal is received or an action potential is generated at the SA node, at the sinoatrial node, the pacemaker of the heart. And that innervates uh, the atria. So the atria are innervated first. So in, in a normal sinus rhythm where we have, where it's conducted through the sinoatrial node, we should have a P wave. And that P wave represents uh, atrial depolarization. That will spread um, through the AV node, the atrioventricular node, and the bundle of his and out into the left and right bundle branches and we'll see the, the development of our QRS complex and we see that full QRS complex when the ventricles via the Purkunji fibers are totally innervated and, and, and will then um, signal a, a contraction and then what the T wave represents is the repolarization of the ventricles um, and the directionality of that repolarization is represented as a positive inflection uh, on the ECG. So our P wave again it represents uh, atrial depolarization, our QRS represents um, ventricular depolarization. 